who is Israel? And who is Israel really is the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Daniel went to Isaiah 45, but I just want to point out in Isaiah chapter 49 that Israel is actually Christ. <laughs> the original Israel is the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we get in Christ, as the Bible teaches us to, then the same are the children of Abraham, as Galatians 3 says. When we are in Christ, we are in Israel. We are included in. He is the groom. We are the bride. Well, guess what? The bride takes the name of the groom. And so we become Israel when we are in Christ. Romans chapter 9. I, he, he talked about Romans 11, but let's, let's talk about context. Romans has a chapter 9 and a chapter 10 and a chapter 11. And it's all being set up and going together. And in Romans chapter 9, verse 6, it says, They are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Back in Romans chapter 2, at the end of the chapter, it says, It's not circumcision outwardly, but inwardly. He is not a Jew which is circumcised outwardly, but he which is circumcised inwardly. In other words, the heart. Stephen talked about that. Stephen preached that when he got stoned to death in Acts chapter 7. He said, You uncircumcised in hearts. In heart and ears, you do always resist the Holy Ghost. And that's and that's even in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy, uncircumcised in your heart. The salvation gospel is a circumcision of the heart, not just some outward fleshly thing. And uh, so the Jew, he, he, he is a Jew which is one inwardly, not outwardly, spiritually. And that's why Paul says in chapter 9 of Romans verse 6, they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Well, what could that possibly mean? What could that possibly mean? They are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Well, what that means, that, that means that they can't possibly uh, all be calling calling themselves Israel unless they are spiritual Israel. That's how they are saved and born again and truly uh, eternal. And so you get to chapter 11, all Israel shall be saved. That means all the saved shall be Israel. 